11 and 11 staying with a big story tonight. Three locations added to the list of places people may have been exposed to measles in Allegheny County. If you were at the Milky Way restaurant on April 17th between 1 and 4 p.m., the red, white, and blue thrift store on April 24th between 11:30 in the morning, 2:45 in the afternoon, or the National Aviary April 28th between 12:30 and 5:30 p.m you may have been exposed. Now we want to stress, there are no new cases in our area. We still stand at five cases. Health officials are simply tracking where those patients were while they were contagious. The eye-catching spot on the list is, of course, the National Aviary. And Channel 11's Michelle Newell spoke to officials there. She joins us live tonight. Michelle, they're not concerned, are they? No, not at all. And they said that because that risk was isolated to that day and time. And they said there is no risk to ongoing visitors who go to the National Aviary. Three people who have the measles are from overseas. They were visiting Allegheny County. The other person lives in Allegheny County. And earlier this evening, we learned there are additional public locations of potential exposure. There are three new locations the health department has flagged where those affected went in recent weeks. The Milky Way restaurant in Squirrel Hill, the red, white, and blue thrift store in Avalon, and the National Aviary last Sunday. The aviary sent us this statement. It reads in part, this potential exposure affects only persons in the building during the isolated time frame on April 28th. And according to the health department, the risk is low for anyone that has been vaccinated or has previously had measles. There is also no ongoing risk to visitors to the National Aviary since the risk was isolated to that day and time. Well, I think it's really important that people are vaccinated and that they not expose others to the risk of measles. We spoke to this woman outside of the National Aviary while she was taking a walk in the neighborhood. She has a three month old grandbaby. I'm fearful that my three month old will get exposed to someone who hasn't been vaccinated and she can't be vaccinated till she's older. She can be she can get something right now as a little booster, but the vaccine she won't get until she's a year, I believe. And just a few additional things, officials also told me they contacted every employee, volunteer, and intern that was working the day the potential exposure occurred. They said all of those people had been previously vaccinated. Reporting live from Allegheny County, I'm Michelle Newell for Channel 11 News. All right, Michelle, thank you very much. And we want to stress another thing. The Allegheny County officials have repeatedly said the county has very high vaccination rates. They don't expect the measles to spread to large numbers of people people here. And tonight, Pennsylvania now one of 23 states to report at least one case of measles this year. That brings the total to 764. And we have more details on local and national cases and vaccination rates on our website, WPXI.com.